Is Virtual Power Plant the future? Virtual Power Plants, VPPs, are like champions in the energy world, bringing together solar panels and home batteries to tackle high energy demand and store extra renewable energy. Unlike regular power plants, VPPs work as a team, connecting various energy sources using innovative technology. This teamwork makes them flexible and responsive and helps keep the energy grid stable, moving us toward a greener future. Now let's unravel the mystery. What makes virtual power plants different from the usual power plants? And how does their teamwork style contribute to a sustainable energy future? Watch till the end as we uncover the unique features that make VPPs champions of a cleaner energy world. What is a virtual power plant? Solar panels and home batteries have gained immense popularity as they enable individuals to generate and store clean energy, leading to cost savings on electricity bills. When grouped, these devices can collectively function as a substantial power plant, supplying significant energy during peak demand or storing excess solar and wind power. This collaborative effort is called a virtual power plant, or VPP. Experts believe VPPs are crucial in transitioning from fossil fuels and adopting cleaner energy in various sectors. With the backing of President Biden's climate change law supporting electric cars, solar panels, and home batteries, the United States anticipates substantial growth in VPP adoption. Jigar Shah from the U.S. Department of Energy emphasizes that VPPs efficiently utilize existing assets, avoiding raising electricity rates for all users. These energy resources are predicted to substantially impact the future energy landscape with projected investments exceeding $110 billion between 2020 and 2025. How do virtual power plants work? A virtual power plant, VPP, is a collective of small energy producing or storing devices, including solar panels and batteries, working together to support the electricity grid. When the grid experiences high demand periods or has surplus energy that can be stored, the VPP comes into action. With the consent of device owners, the energy is either shared with the grid or reserved for later use, and owners are compensated for their participation. This collaborative approach not only helps balance electricity demand, but also provides incentives for participants to contribute to overall energy efficiency. The U.S. government's 2020 approval of VPPs to participate in wholesale power markets gave rise to virtual power plants, VPPs a big step toward a more robust and sustainable energy environment. Before moving next, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So let's move. How Virtual Power Plants Differs from Traditional Power Plants Virtual Power Plants VPPs, revolutionize the traditional power generation and distribution landscape. In contrast to centralized and often monolithic traditional power plants, VPPs embrace a decentralized structure, connecting an array of smaller-scale energy sources. These distributed resources, ranging from solar panels to storage batteries and biomass plants, operate in unison under the coordination of advanced software and communication technologies. In contrast to their traditional counterparts, virtual power plants VPPs, use a variety of energy sources, including renewables like solar and wind energy, to promote sustainability and resilience. The control system of VPPs is not centralized but instead orchestrated through a sophisticated network that remotely monitors and manages each participant. This adaptability allows VPPs to respond dynamically to fluctuating energy demand and supply. Flexibility often lacking in traditional power plants with fixed capacities. Moreover, VPPs facilitate bidirectional data exchange, enabling real-time communication between individual assets and the central control system. This interconnectedness enhances precision in forecasting, electricity trading, and scheduling. Whether owned by a single entity or multiple entities, VPPs depart from the conventional energy landscape, embodying a more adaptable, sustainable, and technologically advanced power generation and distribution approach. Unlocking the power of virtual power plants in the clean energy shift recently, virtual power plants, VPPs, have taken on a crucial role beyond controlling consumer energy use. Thanks to solar and battery technology advancements, utilities can now utilize VPPs to supply electricity back to the grid as needed. In the U.S., 
the Department of Energy estimates the current VPP capacity to be around 30 to 60 gigawatts, constituting 4% to 8% of peak electricity demand nationwide. While this might seem a modest share, some states and utility companies are making swift strides to integrate more VPPs into their grids. For instance, Green Mountain Power in Vermont expanded its subsidized home battery program, offering customers the option to lease a Tesla home battery at a discounted rate or purchase their own, receiving assistance of up to $10,500 in return for sharing stored energy with the utility. Massachusetts and Colorado also make strides in implementing VPP programs to incentivize customers and utility companies to participate. The significance of VPPs in the clean energy transition lies in their potential to reduce the reliance on gas peaker plants, which are typically used during peak electricity demand. By expanding VPP capacity, the Department of Energy aims to avoid the need for additional fossil fuel plants, fostering a more sustainable and cost-effective energy landscape. Furthermore, by allowing customers to participate actively in the energy system, VPPs increase their awareness of and engagement with the switch to sustainable energy. A closer look at the benefits virtual power plants, VPPs, brings many advantages, both at the more significant macro and personal micro levels. On the macro scale, VPPs present a game changer by significantly reducing energy costs, a benefit individuals and communities feel. Unlike traditional power plants that operate continuously, VPPs optimize distributed energy sources, responding swiftly to changes in demand and ensuring efficiency by adjusting capacity as needed. Crucially, they contribute to grid stability, alleviating stress on infrastructure and providing ancillary services for frequency regulation and voltage control. Beyond the technicalities, VPPs facilitate the transition to greener power supporting the integration of renewable energy sources and diminishing greenhouse gas emissions. Overcoming challenges and looking ahead, the landscape of distributed energy sources is rapidly evolving, propelled by the widespread adoption of electric vehicles, charging stations, and smart home devices, as highlighted by the Department of Energy. Integrating these elements into virtual power plant, VPP systems is critical to enhancing the grid's real-time ability to manage electricity demand and supply. Shankar emphasizes the pivotal role of advanced AI in enabling VPPs to coordinate diverse assets efficiently. Encouragingly, regulators are recognizing the potential of VPPs, with organizations like the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners conducting educational sessions and the California Energy Commission funding research on VPP integration. While this regulatory interest is promising, hurdles persist, notably in the consumer enrollment process, which varies among states and companies. Streamlining these processes and standardizing VPP deployment are crucial steps to leverage the full potential of distributed energy resources, such as electric vehicles and heat pumps. As Brem notes, the technology is in place, and the focus now lies in refining policies to facilitate seamless implementation and consumer interaction with these innovative solutions. Are you excited about the transformative potential of virtual power plants? VPPs in creating a cleaner and more sustainable energy future? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating content.